I am a lover of the study of Arabic grammar. I study it all the time. I love it. Ummat and wasata. There are many ummas. In fact, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, taught us that Allah showed him all of the ummas and the respective leaders. Some of the leaders of the prophets had a handful of followers. Some only had two followers. Even some messengers had one, and even other messengers had none. But Allah gave the messenger of Allah a great big ummah. So there are many ummahs. The word ummah is a noun, ismun. But what makes this ummah special is what is called ismu sifa, the adjective. The adjective that describes what kind of noun it is. If you say rajulun, a man, that's any man. But if you say rajulun, adilun, then you say a just man, then that describes the kind of man that you are. Anyone can be a man, but can you be just? We can be an ummah, but what kind of ummah? So Allah gives us the description of the ummah. He calls it ummatin wasata. It is wasata. It is a very comprehensive name. It could mean the middle. It could mean uh, that ummah that is in between, that's balanced, that goes to no, no extreme, neither too far to the right nor too far to the rest, to the left. Then that wasata is balanced. It's, it's in the middle. And this is the ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But, the, but that uh, wasata, that middle nation is also a just nation. And that middle nation is also a good nation. So this ummah and wasata, Allah himself describes it as a balanced nation, ummah, in the golden mean that's good and that is just. That's the name. But the mission comes behind it. لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى nas, And this is the key. So that this balance, just and good nation should be witnesses for mankind. And that the messenger would be a witness over us. And this, in the next few moments, I want to discuss this idea as witnesses for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because I believe that this gives the mission of the Muslims.